All right, so we're going to set up the, some animation now for the Boyd, uh, for our CryEngine 3 Boyd here. And uh, as you, many of you already know, the you need your character to start in the same spot and end in the same spot after each animation so it can seamlessly transition. So I'm going to set up my timeline here. Uh, we can do this in a second actually. We need to set up the spline or his IK and uh, a path. So I'm going to think about his path he's going to take. He's going to, and the snakes in general, they kind of move in a sinusoidal fashion. Uh, and, you know, when they climb, it's a little bit different. And when they go forward, there's, there's different snake motions, but we'll do the slither motion here and represent it with a sign just because it's easiest and it and it's good enough so I'm going to go to the line here and I'm gonna snap it turn on snaps let's see what my snaps are let's just snap it to the grid point start an arc, but it should be, when a snake moves, he doesn't move too far side to side, so I'm going to set up my grid so that it accurately represents, let's see, we move maybe a little bit more than that, we'll try this, this should be alright. And if he moves too far side to side, he'll get a lot of distortion as well, so we need to find a good compromise here. We'll give this a try. If it doesn't work, we can try something else. So my snaps on. Make sure my... Let's make it smooth over here. So it smooths out. And what I'll want to do is actually move this back so he starts out curved as well. Right click will snap that off. Turn off snaps. Let's see. Let's move this back here. I made it long enough so I could move it back and have him start. Uh, maybe I didn't make it long enough. His tail will hang off the end a little bit. I don't want that. So what it can do here is make a new line. Turn on snaps. And then I'll weld these together. Should be plenty long. And that one didn't finish right. So, get a line mode here. Let's see. Or did I just not take it back far enough? Yeah. We'll snap it to there. That looks good. Then I'm going to attach. I have this line selected, click attach, and then I'll just attach this line. And it's going to leave us two verts right here, probably. Get off attach mode. And yeah, two vertices selected, so I'll just weld those. And there we go. Now, let's get out of this mode. You can move it back far enough so when he starts when I set up the spline AK his body will start along this and he has enough room where I, I'm gonna actually move this line back this way and kind of move it and his body will move with it 
That's the plan. It may not work out. Let's give it a try. So I'm going to link the Bippo one, his spine bone, to his tailbone with the spline AK here. Turn off snaps. So animation, IK solvers, spline AK solver. And we'll click the tailbone. And then you need to input a pick shape. You can do it later, like if I escape now. It'll still set up the, the spline, but you have to uh, pick a shape here. And there we go. Except he's facing the wrong way. And not aligned right. Okay, so. back out of this for now. We can set them up in a second. Do I still have the spline? Okay. So that's been completely undone. Okay, I know what happened. I moved it first without snaps. So it's going to cause me problems. There we go. Oh, there's one more thing I forgot. Um, if I'm going to use spline AK, there's a, there's a kind of a weird thing with splines where his body will, his bones will actually twist and completely deform the mesh. So I need to set an up constraint. I'm going to set up a dummy bone here right around his head. do is open my container explorer. I have it hotkeyed to something. Uh, I don't know if it has a hotkey in general. But you can find it around views, I think. Or one of these areas. And this dummy, I'm going to make it uh, a part of BIPO1. Or am I going to make BIPO1 part of it? We'll do that. Dummy will be, I'll rename it to up constraint. And I'm not sure I want to export it. If I don't want to export it, I can put an underscore in front of it. We'll try that to start with. And then on the constraint, I'm going to, or on the dummy, I'm going to set up a constraint. Constraint, uh, let's see, orientation constraint. And I'll just click any on any object right now. I'll click on the line. Now it'll set up a constraint for the line, but we can just delete it down here. So delete orientation target. And then what I can do is just give it a Z. Except, uh, let's see. Maybe I do not want that. Let's. Let's back out again. Undo orientation constraint. Oh. We'll do a position constraint. Now I need a position constraint for the snake, and I need an, an orientation or a look at. We'll try look at. Let's try this. We'll get rid of the line again, delete look at target, and then align to up node axis Z, okay. Axis alignment, world, okay, that should work. <laughs> 